Covering approximately 28% of its vast territory, China's deserts are arid and relatively lifeless. But far from being barren wastelands, these regions are becoming the forefront of a major shift in China's clean energy revolution. The Kubuki Desert, once a vast expanse of nothing but sand, is now teeming with life in the form of gleaming solar panels, occupying an area of around 1.4 million square meters to form the pattern of a galloping horse. This station is not only the largest in China, but it is also the largest solar panel image in the world, holding a Guinness World Record. Projects such as these are nothing short of monumental. They are central to Xi Jinping's strategy to unlock China's potential in creating clean energy and possibly leading the country away from coal and nightmarish pollution many of its cities have become known for. The journey doesn't end with Kabuki, however. Many once desolate areas are rapidly morphing into vital centers of renewable energy development. But despite China becoming the frontrunner of clean energy, it is also burning the most fossil fuels and will not stop building more coal power plants. And the competitive landscape, particularly with the US and Europe, adds another layer of complexity. So what is the grand design behind all of this? And what are the biggest challenges ahead for China's renewable energy generation? This project in Kabuki is gearing up to generate a mind-blowing 16 gigawatts of power, which could light up over a million homes. The project located in Inner Mongolia only began on December 28, 2022, and represents an investment of 80 billion yuan, that is $11.6 billion. Reports said the installation will eventually have 8 gigawatts of solar power capacity, along with 4 gigawatts of wind power and 4 gigawatts of coal fire generation, in addition to energy storage. And that's just one piece of the puzzle. China has plans to build around 225 renewable energy bases in its deserts, boasting a combined capacity of a staggering 455 gigawatts. That's more clean energy muscle than any other nation on Earth. Solar panels harness energy from the sun, which is an abundant and renewable resource. And unlike fossil fuels, solar energy production does not emit greenhouse gases or other pollutants that contribute to climate change and air pollution. Now, how did China, with a reputation as the world's biggest carbon polluter, become the biggest supporter of renewable energy? First off, China's vast desert regions provide the perfect setting for harnessing solar and wind power, thanks to plenty of sunshine and consistent winds. Then there's the fact that China has invested heavily in making solar panels and wind turbines, spurred on by early demand from countries like Germany. The country has been constructing large-scale solar and wind power plants in its desert region since 2021. Despite facing tariffs on its solar panels from other countries, China kept pushing forward, nurturing its own energy industry. Also back in 2016, China signed the UN Paris Agreement, and in 2021 it submitted an updated 2030 Climate Pledge to the United Nations, confirming the country's commitment to curtailing its carbon dioxide emission while it currently relies on coal-fired power generation for around 60% of its electricity. As such, China currently accounts for 31% of global carbon dioxide emissions, and they have been grappling with serious air pollution and energy shortages, especially in big cities like Beijing. And according to the International Energy Agency, China's energy consumption accounts for nearly 90% of China's total CO2 emissions in 2020. As China's economy boomed over the past few decades, so did its demand for energy, leading to a heavy dependence on coal as the primary fuel source. With so much reliance on coal, the air quality suffers and pollutants fill the skies. China aims not only to improve air quality and public health, but also to ensure a more sustainable and resilient economy. By leading the charge on renewable energy, China wants to show the world that it's serious about fighting climate change. Plus, having more renewable energy helps make sure that China isn't relying too much on other countries for its energy needs. It's not all smooth sailing, however. Despite the impressive strides in solar energy generation, China faces the irony of producing more renewable energy than it can currently consume or transmit. 
This surplus results in a significant portion of clean energy going unused, as the existing grid infrastructure and energy storage capabilities lag behind the rapid pace of renewable energy development. Curtailment not only underscores the limitations of the current system, but also highlights the inefficiency in harnessing the full potential of renewable resources. The abundance of clean energy, while a remarkable achievement, falls short of its ultimate goal when it cannot fully displace the reliance on fossil fuels. The challenge, therefore, is not just about generating renewable energy, but also about optimizing its distribution, storage and utilization. The crux of the issue lies in bridging the vast geographical divide between the remote sun-drenched deserts and the energy-hungry urban centers clamoring for sustainability, as well as delivering that power when it is most needed. They are actively addressing this challenge by advancing ultra-high voltage power lines, specially designed to transmit electricity over long distances with minimal losses the construction of which is a monumental engineering effort, reflecting China's ambitious approach to reshaping its energy infrastructure. And even though they're making progress with clean energy, China is still building coal-fired power plants, which kind of goes against their clean energy goals. China had planned to cut back fossil fuel use following the pandemic, but this was short-lived. Interestingly, in 2023, China added almost 50 gigawatts of production with coal plants alone. That's about the same as the installed capacity in Indonesia, Germany or Japan. They started investing more in fossil fuels after Russia invaded Ukraine. Currently, it is constructing six times as many coal-fired power plants as the whole global population. She calls it the principle of building the new before discarding the old. Additionally, China views energy security as crucial for maintaining political stability, understanding that public dissatisfaction due to energy shortages could pose a significant risk. While the construction of new energy plants doesn't necessarily imply a substantial increase in coal-related emissions, it does prolong China's dependence on it. Coal remains a logical choice for China due to its abundant domestic reserves, ranking fourth globally and the country's extensive experience and infrastructure for coal extraction and utilization, which are cost-effective and scalable. Transitioning away from coal presents challenges, especially in finding alternative sources that can provide high-quality heat required for various industrial processes. Moreover, China's economy is still growing at a considerable rate, and renewable energy cannot independently meet the energy requirements of the economy's growth. So China isn't making a switch to renewable anytime soon, and effective incentives for promoting renewable energy consumption are yet to be formulated. Interestingly, high coal prices mean that most coal plants in China are operating at a loss, and things are only going to get worse for them. With the huge quantities of solar and wind, which are essentially free to run once they're installed, coal will become even less and less profitable. And as such, the coal plants are entirely subsidized by the government, with capacity payments to keep them online. And the reason this is the case is a rather strange one. Before 2014, the central government in China decided whether to build new power plants. After 2014, this job was given to each province in China to decide for themselves. As a result, each province tries to make sure it has enough power on its own, not wanting to depend on others. Since every province wants to be extra sure they have enough power, they end up building more coal power plants than the whole country really needs. As China ramps up its renewable energy efforts, the benefits extend beyond its borders. With more clean energy plants coming online, not only will China see cleaner air, but neighboring countries could also benefit. Take Mongolia for example. As one of China's major coal sources, Mongolia is feeling the impact of China's shift towards cleaner energy sources. Recognizing the potential of their shared Gobi Desert to generate solar and wind energy, Mongolia is also exploring alternative ways to generate energy income. Furthermore, China's Belt and Road Initiative offers another avenue for spreading its green energy influence. Since 2013, China has been investing in infrastructure projects around the world through the initiative, aiming to create a modern-day Silk Road. 
This initiative could extend to building green infrastructure in partner countries, further promoting the adaptation of renewable energy on a global scale. While proponents argued that the Belt and Road Initiative can boost a country's GDP and provide access to much-needed infrastructure development, there has also been criticism over human rights violations and environmental impact, as well as concerns of debt trap diplomacy, resulting in neo-colonialism and economic imperialism. As a result of its transition, in 2022, China attracted over 500 billion in investments in solar wind energy, electric vehicles and batteries, surpassing the US by nearly four times. These sectors are emerging as key players in our economy, with policymakers increasingly recognizing their vital role in both decarbonization efforts and economic growth. Furthermore, the widespread availability of affordable solar photovoltaic cells has substantially reduced solar energy costs worldwide, making it the most economical renewable energy option in numerous countries. This trend has facilitated significant decarbonization efforts in economies like India and Pakistan. China's overwhelming dominance has alarmed officials in the United States and in Europe, who say they are worried that a flood of cheap Chinese products will undercut their efforts to grow their own energy industries, especially if the Chinese companies have what they consider an unfair advantage. And so the recent passage of the Inflation Reduction Act is a huge deal, trying to give homegrown US-based companies a chance. Essentially, it's a 500 billion plan aimed at tackling inflation by investing in various sectors and giving tax breaks. Over half of that money is going towards clean energy projects. The idea is to take a page from China's playbook and make the most of the country's natural resources, like the sunny deserts out west and the windy plains up north, to ramp up renewable energy production. The goal is to build everything needed for clean energy in the US from solar panels to wind turbines, which could help make renewable energy cheaper and more widespread, while also making the US less reliant on other countries. This could effectively stop the flow of Chinese high-tech industrial products into the US. There are concerns that China could resort to economic retaliation if pressured by Western countries. Chinese companies have built a pretty large head start in creating well-integrated supply chains and have gained a significant foothold in international markets, way ahead of any other country. The main way to get an advantage in the clean energy sector is to scale up and cut costs, which really plays to China's advantage. And as such, it is safe to say that China is doing more than its fair share when compared to the US in fighting climate change. Even though, for the past century, the US and the colonial power of the West in the bygone era released more CO2 than the rest of the world combined. By prioritizing the health and well-being of its citizens, leveraging its expertise and resources, and taking proactive steps to address environmental concerns, China's journey to becoming a renewable energy giant is a reminder of what's possible when we invest in clean energy. It's also a reminder that transitioning to cleaner energy isn't always straightforward, though the long-term benefits are undeniable. Yet beyond these hurdles lie opportunities that extend to neighboring countries, offering pathways for cleaner energy adoption and economic development. While China's dominance in renewable energy production raises concerns about fair competition and global market dynamics, collaborative efforts between nations, as seen in initiatives like COP28, signal a potential for cooperation in addressing shared challenges. Whether China is on track to meet its 2030 and 2060 energy targets is yet to be determined. However, China is taking some massive and impressive steps forward. At the very least, it's an impressive start towards a greener future. Next, why not watch my video on Kinmen Island, a Taiwanese island only a stone's throw away from the coast of China. And this is my Patreon map. Everyone on this map is a legend. Thank you all so much for your support. Geoperspective, out.